Usually a game designer needs to be creative, right? But it's not only that. I think what is important is the thought process behind why you come up with this particular level or why you come up with this character, right? It's not only just about, you know, you have to be crazy and creative, but it's all about what do you want the user to feel at the end of the day and what is the depth of experience that you can come up with that. So I think that is very, very important as a game designer because at the end of the day, a game is a product and users will use it. So don't just be in your dreamland, but also create something that your users will enjoy. Obviously, the advantage of being Asian, you know, a game developer, is being Asian itself, right? So you know a lot of cultures that they do not know, right? Overseas and all that. And usually a lot of games, they always base on European cultures, Western cultures. But there are very, very few games that are based on Asian cultures. And I'm not only talking about the aesthetics of culture, I'm also talking about the, the mindset of Asians, you know, and all that. And this, if you can put it in a game, you can contribute a lot. So you can gain a lot of advantage, just like how I did gain an advantage in Square Enix. Yep. Nasihat saya kat semua orang muda nak jadi game designer ni ialah passion. Tahu. So, kalau you ada passion, jangan half-hearted je, jangan separuh jalan je. Pergi all the way. Tahu. So, kalau you suka nak buat this game kan, just make that game. Uh, I mean, it's good to depend on government. Tapi kadang-kadang you kena taruh sendirilah your effort semua.